My mom tells me that when I was four, I wanted to be a taxi driver, and then when I was five, I wanted to be a game developer. So I haven't really grown up, I guess. <laughs> my name is Holden Link, and I'm the director of button operations at Turbo Button. I make up a new title every time I'm asked, actually. It makes us sound like we're a little bigger than we actually are. So Turbo Button is uh, located in my apartment. A luxurious Los Angeles apartment without air conditioning. Holden lives upstairs. We have very short commutes to work. It's just a one bedroom apartment, so I have my bedroom that we don't really use for work stuff because I like, you know, sleeping in there. A lot of times when I tell people we'll have a home office, they immediately get the idea of like, oh, we're just all sitting around in our underwear, like on the sofa, on laptops or something. It's like, no. I'm Nick Vasconcelos, and I'm a co-founder at Turbo Button. Nick and I met our sophomore year at Georgia Tech. We ended up working together on our senior design project which was a game called A Sticky Situation, where you played as a piece of gum. Holden's very good at, like, I just have this idea, and, like, here it is, and it'll just come out of nowhere sometimes. A couple of years ago, Nick and I made a little prototype for the Oculus Rift DK2 called A Night at the Roculus. That was the first time we got to try anything with positional tracking. That was our launching point into VR. Turbo button. It started while Holden and I were at Magic Pixel. We believed really strongly in VR. We thought that it was worth all of the risks. There's this opportunity here, and I will kick myself if I don't take it. It ended up being Holden and I looking at each other going like, we have to do this. <coughs> oh, what the? I'm a huge Adventure Time fan. I was like, what if we pitched them an Adventure Time game? We were all really excited and ready to get started on that project, and then Magic Pixel actually got acquired by another company. They were gracious enough to give us the opportunity to continue developing that game on our own. Oh, what do you see in these two, huh? When I got the opportunity to become an animator, you know, of course I jumped at the chance. My name is Ralph Bull. I'm an artist animator with Turbo Button. The Adventure Time characters were very expressive, so I started watching as much Adventure Time as I could. Jake was a difficult character to get your head around because he was a stretching character. He literally stretched. So at the beginning of the game, Finn and Jake find you in the woods. They immediately befriend you. They have this awesome, like, bro love thing going on that you just want to be a part of. Hey, Tiny! Those moments were really important for letting fans connect with those characters in a way that they really couldn't do outside of VR. My bad! Adventure Time was my first game launch, first VR launch. We had never shipped a game as programmers before. We only use Unity. Unity is a great tool for building out ideas really quickly. It's our paintbrush. That's how we make our art is through tech. We really strived with the Adventure Time game to make it feel like a AAA, really polished experience. I don't think that most people expect that the game was made largely by a team of three people. Floor Plan is the next game from Turbo Button. Floor Plan is an adventure game based entirely inside of an elevator. Each floor is its own environment. You have to complete the puzzle to get to the end scene, which is, I won't tell you because that will be a spoiler. No one likes spoilers. I like spoilers, actually, but... I spent a lot of time walking around the neighborhood, thinking about what could possibly be going on, what kinds of characters might be on that floor, what would they be doing, what would they need. A lot of the fun of the game is, is just figuring out this world for yourself and being charmed by seeing things for the first time that are completely unexpected. Lighthearted humor should be the feeling you get because it is a very lighthearted game. It's not, if I miss this, I'm never gonna see my kids again. Specifically in the Rift version for Floor Plan, having positional tracking certainly changes things. VR is more than just looking through a window. There is something in your brain that just triggers and goes, whoa, I couldn't experience this in real life, and yet here I am. I've always been a big believer in if you make something that you really believe in, you will find your audience. VR changes the whole game space. I feel like it's the kind of change that you only see once in a couple decades. It's important to us that as we grow, we make sure that everybody on the team still has a ton of ownership and a ton of input in all of our projects. With three people, you have to own what you're working on, and much more than that. There's a sense of camaraderie with Turbo Button. We're all here for the purpose to make something amazing. I look forward to looking back on this time and being like, remember when we were in that shady building? Yes, there's a creepy hallway, but I love that creepy hallway. And when we do grow, I'm probably gonna be taking over coffee making for Holden. I know, it's, it's rough, but you know, he's gonna be busy. It's been a lot of fun and uh, completely crazy at times to, to be in on the ground floor of this, this new wave of VR, but I wouldn't wanna be doing anything else. 
how we say that we're like in the garage band phase, live in the dream kind of thing. And so it feels kind of fun to have that kind of like attitude, even if it's hokey, you know, just like, yeah, we're really bootstrapping it. And it, it makes it feel all the more exciting, actually, because it's like we can only go up from here.